so I've been doing more tests with the um the transmitter and I have the transmitter sitting in the center of the receiver the receiver is four times the size of the transmitter uh, this big outer coil is the receiver specially tuned um, we have the multimeter hooked up to the battery the receiver is in resonance receiving as much power as we can from the transmitter feedbacking its power into the battery and when I disconnect the uh, feedback here I'll show this you'll see that will immediately drop to 2.6 for voltage so disconnected connect it back up goes back up to 2.7 I'll disconnect the feedback drops to 2.6 reconnect the feedback you can see a small spark goes back up to 2.7 and I've been testing this for a solid hour now. Um, I'll disconnect the feedback again. Drops to 2.6. Reconnect the feedback. And goes up to 2.7. Um, and there's the wireless power effects are phenomenal. I have to keep doing this test to see if it will stay at that. Um, it's unknown if it will stay at that. And the near magic lake effects are still present from the device and um, here's the raw wireless output from the device whoops now I really screwed up why is that not coming off well I didn't really screw up that bad I just have to get the oscillation going again so it's in super low power mode now it also it alternates between a very low power mode and a um, a high power mode so I have to get it into oscillation again but I'm gonna disconnect the receiver coil power and I'll show you exactly how powerful the uh, receiver coil is what our output looks like And I'm filming this one hand. It doesn't really make much sense for me to have a tripod here. So I have to get the system oscillating in the powerful mode again. Um, and for those who doubt that the transmitter is doing that, it's disconnected now. The wireless power effects are completely dead. And we also earth ground part of it. Um, so I'll reconnect it. and we have that weak mode on and I have to get it oscillating into the strong mode by temporarily shorting out the base and collector of the transistor which I just did and now we're in the high power mode and this is the amount of power coming off of um, the receiver coil this is the raw power coming off the tuned receiver coil not too bad and it also will make this LED light become blindingly bright. This is kind of a sloppy video. I just had to show it and demonstrate it. So that's extremely bright. Um, and I can remove this fully. As you see, the receiver coil, which is very well tuned, just sits over the transmitter good look at the transmitter dead simple both coils are the same wire gauge in a bucking fashion to form one true coil um, I guess you could really call it a oh my god that's bright and um, yeah we'll hook that we'll hook that feedback up in a second so I'm showing it can run LEDs and incandescent bulbs, no problem, um, from just the receiver coil. So now I'll send the feedback back into the battery. And ignore my beeping meters. 
but the feedback is going back into the battery and I have to test this longer see what happens if it's stable or not and note that while we have the feedback occurring we still have the phenomenal wireless power effects to the point where it's almost mystifying um, this effect has to be studied much further I can just place another resonant coil anywhere nearby and it lights up very brightly this light and I could earth ground this end touch it to the coil and this will light without putting a load on the system it's like we're creating a giant field of influence around the device um, I'll show you the frequency and this is why a ZVS can't be used for this type of stuff because it doesn't produce a clean enough doesn't produce a sharp enough signal so I'll hook this up and I'll show you exactly what we have going on <clears throat> and everything fights you when you film okay I got it I believe Ooh, hold on I'm gonna bring this this way okay I got it I believe the frequency was 24 or 25 kilohertz. Yeah, and it's a very sharp spike. So you don't want a smooth sine wave with this type of stuff. You want a very abrupt spike. And that very abrupt spike, by switching the transistor as fast and as hard as you can, creates these loadless wireless power effects that have near magic like properties so if you're going to show that and it does look like we dropped a little bit in voltage um, it might be just because the oscilloscope is connected to the circuit detuning things but I'll remove it and we'll find out so that's our waveform that's our frequency it's a very sharp abrupt spike I'll remove, yeah look at that, I removed the oscilloscope, we immediately go up to 28, 13.28, that's how sensitive this stuff is, so, um, I had to get my capacitor values on the receiver coil in tune, I had to make my receiver coil four times the size of the transmitter, because the thought process behind it was, if I want to receive more power than that I'm transmitting, I should almost build what looks like a resonant cage around the transmitter being the special receiver coil, but this design needs much more testing, it's all air core the only point of detuning would be the heat sink, but that heat sink is necessary um, and more testing needs to be done, but I doubt this is self-sustaining at this point, it needs much more testing just for the fact heat still builds up in that heat sink even though I have very clean sw abrupt switching that we saw on the oscilloscope we don't, we don't have a clean sine wave which would be wasteful we have a very abrupt on off switch which is what you want for this type of scalar power um, at least that's the theory behind it and I've messed with my ZVS's for almost a full two weeks now and I can't get these types of cool effects whenever I use a ZVS whenever I build my custom circuits which are modified Jewel Thiefs and Slayer Exciters and somewhat touching upon Class E amplifier circuits I get these remarkable effects the key is the clean sharp abrupt on off transistor switching almost like a very abrupt square wave with a super low duty cycle you don't want that long dragged out sine wave and we also earth ground part of the uh, transmitter so I have a whole little bucket of ZVS's could never get those effects with a ZVS um, and I was also load testing different things I've had it going for about an hour now um, it always recharges up to 13.28 I'm gonna have to keep testing it um, look around the area if everyone so pleases um, so pretty simple setup nothing under the desk don't ever do bullshit on this channel <clears throat> and wireless power effects are just phenomenal and me just touching it I'm probably gonna cause it to drop to 27 in a second just from me touching and detuning it yeah I dropped it to 27 
So I stop touching the circuit, it'll go back up to 2.8. It's super sensitive, um, but it seems to be working not too bad. I'll have to keep testing this. Um, and for the doubters that this device is outputting that, I will disconnect the negative. So battery is disconnected now. The effects are dead. And again, a look at the receiver coil. And a look at the transmitter coil. There's two coils wrapped on here, being 26 gauge wire. Um, and they're wrapped in a bucking configuration. So one 26 gauge coil is wrapped first, and then the other one's wrapped over it in the opposite direction. And it's wired exactly like a Super Jewel Thief circuit with a biasing resistor from the base to the, um, well, I don't want to get that wrong. I actually forgot part of what I did, but, um, it's wired exactly like a Super Jewel Thief circuit with a biasing resistor. And I believe that value is 1 or 200K carbon film. And we added a diode here between the base and collector to speed up our switching even further and these two capacitors are just resonant capacitors to speed the system up further um, we earth grounded this part of the circuit right here the hot end don't let that wire fool you that's a positive connection um, this is the negative connection off the emitter of the transistor um, this meter is in series with the battery reads our current flow so that's that I'll hook the system back up and I might have to end the video soon I think I have a package coming that I have to sign for and now we're back on with the weak wireless power effects system has two modes the weak mode and the powerful mode that has to be jump started with my light and then once we jump started it we see the power consumption and we're in a more powerful mode. So thank you everyone. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon. And yeah, the research continues.